so Dralla, jetzt äh, sind wir am Stand äh, von Edge Performance. Ähm, die sind so eine kleine Tuning-Schmiede für den Rotax-Motor, oder? Jawohl, eine norwegische Firma, die äh, Einspritzanlagen machen, Big Bock Hits, also Hubraumerweiterung und Turbolader, Ladeluftkühler für den Rotax-Motor, aber sie haben auch Einspritzanlagen und äh, turbo umrüstbau Umrüstkits für die abiro motoren Schaut super interessant aus, alles sehr fein gearbeitet, schön, äh, schön edel. Sehr interessant sind, diesmal das erste Mal auf dem Stand. Das wollen wir uns mal angucken. Ja, super. Wir werden uns den Thomas schnappen und äh, der wird uns da auch ein bisschen was dazu erklären. Viel Spaß. Hallo, mein Name ist Thomas. Ich bin der CEO von Medic Performance Norway. Wir machen Fuel Injection, Turbos und Big Board Kits für Rotax und Jabiru Engines. Ihr könnt sie auf edgeperformance.com und ihr schaut What's Up auf YouTube. So, hier sind wir am Stand von der Firma Edge Performance aus Norwegen. Die machen äh, fantastische Motorinstallationen, also äh, Einspritzkits für Rotax und Jabiro Engines. Und ich stehe hier mit dem äh, CEO und Chef des Ganzen, dem Thomas Hauklien. Hi Thomas. Hallo. It's the first time that you're here in Friedrichshafen with your company, but you're doing this since uh, several years, 2007 I think you started. Tell us something about these wonderful installations you do here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we've, we've been here as, as visitors only several times, but it's, as you said, the first time we've been here uh, displaying our products. So, um, yeah, well, basically what we do uh, today is we do modernizing and, um, and uh, optimizing of, of aircraft engines, mainly Rotax, but we also have some, uh, some requests for the Jabiru engines as well. So, over here we have, this is just a dummy block of the Rotax 912 UL. Uh, we have it equipped with our fuel injection system, this is one of the options. It has a 4 to 1 intake with equal length runners. Uh, the main advantage here is obviously weight. The whole injection system has the same weight as one carburetor. So, so the weight savings here is everywhere from 3 to 6 kilos compared to a, a standard 912 ULS. Uh, the other huge benefit is that we run with a single throttle body. So there's no carburetor maintenance, there's no synchronization, so it's basically maintenance free. It operates like just like a modern car engine. We change the spark plugs, oil filter, and so you go for it. Your major goal is not fuel saving or yeah. power increase. Yeah, absolutely. The, those as well. Uh, we, we typically see 15% savings in, in, in fuel uh, consumption. And also, we see everywhere, depending on the type of configuration, 5 to 10% increase in power output. Oh, that's a lot, and I see you have uh, several different solutions for this. This is a one and four or four and one intake. Yes. With a, um, you made the, the intake box. Then there's a direct port system that you can use with the original with the stock intake. Correct. And uh, there's a third system that goes with a single throttle body on the on the airbox. So you have yeah, a lots of uh, yeah. versions here. Yeah, actually we have six or seven different combinations. Uh, the reason for that isn't because we necessarily need it or want it, because, uh, but uh, many different airframes, they, they require different installations due to different engine mounts, very t tight firewalls. At, uh, and for the Shark, for instance, we're now going to do the fuel injection, uh, the big bore kit. We increased the engine displacement to 1.5 liter. Uh, but obviously the, the coaling for the Shark is very narrow and slim, so we need to place the injectors on the side to gain clearance uh, and another customer of us he has the hydraulic governor so we can also remove or um, relocate the intake and we can put the, the runners in an angle to get proper clearance also for some of the german propellers the neuform propellers we can also do those modifications to gain There's more place needed behind the gearbox absolutely just mentioned the second point here on one side installated uh, your big ball kit yeah almost 1.5 liter with different compression ratios depending on, on the solution you, you want. Yeah, this is, this is our latest product. Uh, it is uh, a big board kit. We have them in different uh, displacements. We have various from 1.5, 1.6 and 1.7 liters. Uh, but our, our main product that we will market and sell is the 1.5 liter. Uh, the reason for it is that it doesn't require any modifications to the engine case or the cylinder heads. It's a complete bolt-on kit. Uh, and the main advantages of, of course, uh, besides the, the increased displacement and power is that it is machined out of solid aluminum. The original ones are made out of cast. Yeah. So the, ma the material density is higher. Uh, we have 14 cooling fins instead of nine, which improves the cooling by th actually 35%. Uh, 
the complete kit installed is 600 grams less weight than the original. And we just did a dyno testing with the big bar kit, standard carburetors and airbox on the 912 ULS, and it produces 122.3 horsepower. More power, less weight for the whole thing, and less fuel. And better cooling. And, and better cooling, that's and amazing. And uh, you're also dealer for the Shark in Norway? Yes, we've since yeah, this year? We, yeah, we just we just went to Sanitsa in Slovak and uh, and went through the production. Uh, Vlado, the owner of Shark, he, he went through and showed us everything. So we just signed an exclusive dealer contract for Shark. So we're established Shark out of Norway. We're proud to be a part of the team and to start uh, dealing with Sharks in Norway. And the other thing we should mention shortly is uh, this setup for Jibiru. Um, 2200 mm -hmm. four cylinder engine. This is fuel injection, turbo uh, turbocharged. Yes. And you're doing this engine for a speed record, I heard. You yeah, we're. we're this installation. Yeah, we're, we're involved with a project uh, in the United States. It's um, one of the, um, the journalists from Kit Planes magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, they are trying to set a new world record, an FEA record for maximum take weight 300 kilos. So they, they initially approached me and their idea was to use the Jabiru six-cylinder, but the weight was concerned. So what I told them is that we can build a four-cylinder Jabiru, we can install injection and turbo in it, and we will even have more horsepower than the six-cylinder, but with less weight. So, um, so I think it's uh, a bit ahead of time. It isn't ready yet, but the, the aerodynamic construction and design is still ongoing, so it's an exciting project to be a part and, of. And it will produce more than 120 horsepower with this, with this kit? Yes, it delivers approximately 130 horsepower and way more torque than the Jabiru 6-cylinder. Uh, the first one we did, we, we went with the, the standard Jabiru 6-cylinder propeller as, as a benchmark. But uh, we immediately noticed that the 6-cylinder uh, Jabiru propeller was too light and we overspeeded it. So, so by that we know it, it delivers more power than the 6-cylinder. Uh, we haven't done a dyno test yet, but it's just pure calculations that it puts out in the range of 125, 130 horsepower, and obviously way more torque. So, and you have the less weight, of course. And it's really beautiful. You have to say, I have to say, it's really machined and, and uh, worked very well. Very sneak design. Um, very nice. I thank you for the interview. I wish you good luck. Okay. Thank you. And uh, maybe see you next year. Thank Absolutely. you, Thomas. Okay. Thank you.